What's going on, Griddle Nation? So we are in California at Smorgasburg, LA. There's a ton of amazing food vendors and a lot of Blackstones. Let's go eat our way around the event. Hi, my name is Ray. Spoon and pork. Uh, we do a uh, chori burger. It's our take on a Filipino style chorizo. So what it is is uh, house-made ground pork with like spices, garlic, smoke in there. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy. We do it on a toasted Hawaiian bun uh, with a Spanish fried egg. It's pretty much a sunny side up egg with like crisp egg whites. Um, we do a kale and green apple slaw on it. Um, and then we do a calamansi aioli. Calamansi is like a Filipino citrus um, that we do. So the aioli is pretty much like oil, garlic, and the calamansi. And we use our Blackstone grill uh, to cook the burgers, the eggs. Uh, we love that thing so much. It retains so much heat and burgers come out perfect and the eggs always come out perfect. We even toast our buns there too. Uh, so we're here over at Smorgasburg. Uh, you can find us at SpoonAndForkLA.com. On Instagram, follow us. It's SpoonAndForkLA. Uh, Facebook, Spoon and Pork, our website, uh, SpoonAndPork.com. Uh, if you're not using a Blackstone, you guys are missing out. Growing up in LA, being half Vietnamese, half Filipino, the tacos were kind of a culmination of that. You know, all the flavors that I grew up eating uh, into a taco. So that's what you're tasting. And so I, I love hearing it when, you, when people are blown away by it because it's, it's really something that no one's ever tasted. So it's marinated uh, carne asada beef. Um, it's a rib cut with uh, soy, ginger, garlic, um, topped off with our uh, cilantro onion salsa. It's a little bit of fish sauce um, and fried garlic, fried shallots. Um, Blackstone Grill, it's basically the backbone of, uh, of what I do. It's one of the first things I bought when I started this business and uh, I've had it for over four years and I, I don't think I could do this business without it. I mean, I take it everywhere. It goes in the back of my truck. Um, and it's never failed me. My business is TJ's Tacos LA. You can uh, find me on my Instagram at TJ's Tacos LA. Thank you guys. I love coming to events like this because there's so many different things you can try. You've got these delicious cocktails on one side and you've got burgers on another side. I found this really great place called Cheezus and they do this melted raclette over potatoes. They're amazing. And I met Ian. Let's go see what he's got going on. I'm uh, Ian with Cheezus. Uh, we wanted to get people eating real food again and what not better medium than cheese. So we have the incredible Hulk, our most popular sandwich. We have organic country sourdough. We do an aged sharp cheddar. We do an aged provolone, smoked bacon, avocado, lime aioli, red pepper chili oil, and a fried egg. Right on that black stone there, it gets nice and hot. So the cheese starts melting. We pop the egg in, close it, dish it off to the, uh, the wonderful people. All right, so we have the raclette. We have a raclette cheese actually made here in America from uh, Springbrook Farm. We melt that over a bed of uh, Okinawa sweet potatoes, and then we add some black pepper to that. Um, and of course, it's a sexy scrape. That's what we put on the menu. Dude, it's so good here on a Sunday, melting cheese all over people today. It's amazing. Instagram, at Jesus underscore LA. Same thing with Twitter and Facebook. Now one of my favorite street foods is burgers. And our good buddy George Motz is here making those amazing fried onion burgers. Let's go see what George has going on. We are in the middle of a crazy cook right now. We're probably gonna make about 700 burgers today is my guess. 700, easily. Smorgasburg. Smorgasburg is always nuts. And we're gonna sell out the Oklahoma Fried Onion Burger, which is one of my favorite burgers to make. The burger I make when I'm, you know, cooking outside in public in front of people. And it's always a big hit. You know why? There's nothing to it. Cheese, beef, onions, a bun. And that's it, pickles on the side, salt. When I cook at home, I'm cooking for 10 people, I'm making 20 burgers. When I cook at Smorgasburg, I am making burgers for 700 people. It's crazy, it's totally nuts, and it's usually a line. We've had a line pretty much the entire day. We had a line all day today, 40, 50 deep. Brutal, but I love it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are a vendor or you're a restaurant doing pop-up events just like this, we wanna see what you guys have going on. We wanna see you making amazing food on your Blackstone. If you guys wanna find a bunch of fun recipes on things you can do at home, be sure to go to blackstoneproducts.com. I'm Chef Nate, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.